it was a tornado. Um, there's damage all through town. But was it really a tornado? Storm damage in Carrizo Springs leaves residents and business owners scratching their heads while picking up the pieces. Now, the storm hit around midnight and took many by surprise. Downtown Carrizo Springs saw the most damage from the fast-moving violent storm. And it said Garcia shows us there's still a lot of cleanup going on. It's been a long, hot day in Carrizo Springs. Workers boarding up windows and tearing down damaged buildings. Main Street looking like a ghost town. This is our roof. <laughs> Jennifer Limon works at the Camino Real Community Center. She says early this morning, something roared through town. Well, we got a call about 8 o'clock this morning and said the roof had been torn off and all that you see the insulation and water damage everything's wet inside we had to come down and get our computers our printers our um, keyboards and everything's just wet most of the damage concentrated in the center of town huge trees uprooted this one damaging the roof of a home a palm tree snapped in two power poles barely standing. They're saying it was a tornado. But as it turns out, forecasters say this was the result of a microburst that produced 70 mile an hour straight line winds. Lydia Sines' boutique no longer has windows. She says when she got the call about the storm damage, she was told there were body parts all over the street in front of her shop. Well, what we think is that the wind must have sucked out five mannequins that I have and uh, they were all in pieces in the road. Those mannequins were still being found around town this afternoon. Yes, we do have to open up the show to we provide food. Meantime, at a makeshift emergency operations center, authorities huddled to keep things organized. They say even though several buildings were damaged, fortunately, no one was hurt. All right, even though most of the town of 5,000 was without power today, the hospital and nursing home were up and running. There is no damage estimate yet. Cleanup could still take a few days. Ted Garcia, Fox News at 9.